All right, kindergarten friends. Now that we have just learned about dot day, we are going to make our own dot day project. So I'm going to give you a paper. It will already have your name on it. You're going to make sure that you flip it over so your name is on the back. Then on your table, you will have lots of different colors of squares. We're going to use these squares to make our dots for our project. So today we're going to practice cutting out circles or dots, whatever you want to call them. You're going to start with your square. You are just going to take your scissors and curve. I'm going to come up a little closer to you. Curve off that corner, just like that. You see I have that little corner down there. I'm going to do the same thing to this corner. I'm just going to curve off that corner. Okay, I'm going to do this corner, curve off that corner. Now I'm going to do my last corner, curve off that corner. And that's all you need to do to make a circle. You're going to push those aside. Sometimes if you have any little lump bumps that are still left, you can just take your scissors and curve them off. Okay? Then you're going to grab your glue bottle. Make sure you twist it open. Twist, twist, twist on that orange cap. Then we gotta listen. Is it talking to us? It's talking to us, that means it's open. So we're going to remember our dot, dot, not a lot for our glue. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four dots. That is all I need for this circle. And I'm going to put that on my paper, just like that. Now I'm going to pick a different color. I'm going to do yellow. I'm going to do the same thing, curve off that corner, curve off that corner, curve off that corner, curve off that corner. Now, I think I have a couple little lump bumps right here and right here. So again, I'm just gonna take my scissors and curve them off. Curve them off. Set those aside. Count with me, how many dots are we doing? Ready? One, two, three, four. They're little dots, my friends. Not big old globs of glue. Now I'm gonna turn that over, set it down. I'm gonna pick a new color. Got my red. Now, you can see I have about three circles on my paper so far. I'm gonna make sure to press them down so they're really stuck on there. Then I'm gonna go put this one on and maybe I'm, my purple circle is going to overlap my yellow circle. Remember, we talked about this when we were printing with our cups, when we were doing our cup prints. We talked about overlapping our circles. We're doing the same thing today with our cut circles. So now I'm gonna cut out my next one. Count with me, how many dots? One, two, three, four. Maybe this orange circle is going to overlap both my green and my red circle. You are going to keep putting circles on your paper until your paper is full of circles. You want a bunch of overlapping circles all over your paper. I'm going to do that now. My very last circle. 
I'm going to curve off that corner, curve off that second corner, curve off that third corner, and curve off that fourth corner. I have a couple of weird lump bumps, one right here, so I'm gonna curve that off, and maybe one right here, curve that off. Count with me, one, two, three, four. All right, I think my paper is pretty full up of circles. So I'm just going to give one last pat down to my circles to make sure they're all stuck really, really well. Then with two hands, I'm going to very carefully walk this over to the drying rack, making sure not to set mine on top of somebody else's. Then I have all of these scraps from my circles. I'm going to carefully pick them up off my table and I am going to take them over to the recycle bin, that big yellow bin under the whiteboard and put them in there. Then, of course, I carry my scissors, put my scissors away, make sure my glue bottle is closed up tight. Let's listen, is it talking? Nope, that means it's closed up tight. And that is our dot day project. Awesome job.